G'day, let's play some more Wings Remastered. Going in a dogfighting mission just now. Doubt they'd ever put that many balloons in here. Can seems kind of It seemed bogus. unfitting that we should find but a single foe below us. With the honor of Immelman in mind, we wanted to let him go, but he was coming up hard. Perhaps he had Immelman in mind too. into oblivion. Fair, that's a tongue twister. Back from leave, and what a leave it was. Girls up and down the Champs Elysees, girls all along the Seine, girls in every cafe and nightclub still open for business. Unfortunately, old Farah put a damper on things the very hour we got back when he demanded a full company short arms inspection. Needless to say, most of us were uncomfortable. The rest just plain humiliated. Haven't been checked out that closely since boot camp. Good grief, it was only Paris. Back to work today, strafing the front. How quickly one remembers what was so easy to forget. <laughs> Not sure I want to know what a short arms inspection is. Alright, we have to strafe infantry. I do really hate these ones. Same old Verdun. With our troops advancing, we flew in low to scatter the enemy regiments that had exposed themselves in their own paltry attack. Hey, why are they exposing themselves? They're not Scottish. Getting shot down on these strafing runs doesn't seem to be a thing in the remix, or the remake, or the remastered version, whatever it's called. Champion of the trigger I turned from the Cinders in Triumph. Yeah. Can't remember what it is that you need to actually win. I think it's like two thirds of the target. Max Maestro, killed. Ross is getting a little short there. Allies retaliate, launch some offensive.
Patrolling Verdun this morning. I'm starting to realize how much the trenches are haunting me. I've got friends out there rotting in the musty earth, and the war is still no closer to ending than the day I volunteered. With all the military brilliance on our payroll, someone must know how to break this stalemate. Defeat all enemy planes. Four of us. What's the chance that we're going to get to shoot everybody down? Maybe we weren't the only flying fools. With plenty of fuel to burn, my sortie of four spotted two Fokkers challenging us dead ahead. Fritz hadn't just become cocky, he'd become a Dummkopf. <laughs> Und jetzt? Er kommt kaputt. Let's go for that. Charlie Howell. Well done, buddy. Found something interesting in a French newspaper, though I hardly know enough French to sing around at Frère Jacques. They're running box scores on all us pilots. Farah says they're only doing it to keep attention off the carnage at Verdun, but I still like the idea. We're bombing a train at Strasbourg today. Won't run up any box scores, but hopefully we'll run some box cars flat off the tracks. <laughs> Bomb the train. Do enjoy this one. With an off-key chorus of Frere Jacca stuck in my head, I began dodging Archie as I approached the rumbling tracks. Humming along, I dove in with them and began gaining on a hundred brick. Alright, let's bomb us a train. Getting hit. Hitting the hun where it hit, I turned from the smouldering ruins and headed for home. No, I didn't even count the truck anyway. It is an achievement though, hitting a truck, so I wonder if we got it. Might find out till I quit the game. Four of us are about to go on the dawn patrol to Verdun. We've started to get things under control there, but now we've got trouble at the Somme River. Hostilities have erupted following a massive Allied offensive. Already there's talk that this new battle could be as drawn out as our current deadlock. No orders for our transfer, but we can expect them soon. Cool. Head over to Ra. Defeat all enemy planes. Three majors and a lieutenant. With three Eindeckers in front of us, I thought not of the song, but of seeing my name in the newspapers. I just hoped it would be in a glowing war report and not in the obituaries. Since we're the war's leading ice, and yeah. I'm gonna have to actually 
watch out for the fire from the other two this time. was on the rise by two hopefully yep two out of three ain't bad and some more volunteers coming in the French are celebrating Bastille Day and the champagne is flowing though we'll soon be taking a break from the festivities to bomb the Saraburg aerodrome Georges Guinmer whom reporters have made the toast of Paris is supposed to give a speech here tonight I hope when I get home I'm half as popular as he is. Bet he never has trouble getting the girls to take notice. <laughs> you dirty old British bastard. Alright, bomb the hangar. Secondary target, planes. No storming of the Bastille today. Dodging Archie left and right, we sighted the Saraborg airbase and rallied to raise it to the ground within centuries. Ooh, it's a big one. We got eight bombs. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna get one of those damn trucks. Uh, I wasn't gonna count anyway. Is it? I can't remember if it shows up on there. We've got four planes. It's late afternoon as I write this, and we still have one patrol to go. This week we learned that Immelmann is not the only great German pilot out of the air. According to the papers, the Kaiser has assigned Volker to a training tour of Turkey. Guess Germany couldn't afford to lose two freights. Still, I wonder how the Luftstrike craft can function without its renowned leaders. Defeat all planes. Two majors. What are they going to throw at us? Coming out of the clouds with our engines at idle, my partner and I had the clear advantage as we snuck up on two monos. I pulled my throttle forward and prepared to open fire on the Iron Cross rudders.
boost the other guy. Nope. Awesome. Ah, oh, Bernie Aguila got killed. I'm glad the weather is improving. Spring has at last turned into summer, so we don't have to worry about the cold for a while. What we do have to worry about is the Somme offensive, which from all I can tell isn't going too smoothly. We also have to worry about the incessant enemy supply trains. At midday, we're going to bomb the line northeast of Nominee. So much for the blooming tree. Okay, another bombing mission. Bomb the train. Signature target, Tux. Tux, trucks. Things with wheels. There wasn't any time to enjoy Nominee's green hills and flowering pastures. The train we targeted was swiftly slipping out of range. We needed to level it quickly and efficiently. Hey, truck. smoldering ruins and headed for home. Every truck and the train hit rate 4 out of 9. Yeah, but we blew up buildings, come on. Quincy Crane? Mike Maestro? The Battle of the Somme is becoming more heated. British and French troops are now advancing between Delville Wood and the river. I can't imagine it'll be long before we're called up. Later today, two of us are escorting a bomber deep into enemy territory near beach. We're not to return until the bomber has an unobstructed route. Could be rough. Alright. Need to get a route to beach. Defend bomber. As two Fokkers emerge from the fog below us, my partner and I knew we'd face more at beach than mere babysitting. The enemy didn't just want our ward, they wanted us in their trophy case. How dare they? Alright, this guy looks closer. Start on the left. side of the keyboard to the keys I'm using. The geniuses at HQ sent us a beauty for today. We're supposed to strafe a munitions train near Metz. Bombs are in short supply, so we'll have to do it with bullets. Great. They run out of bombs, but want a bombing mission, so they send us anyway. 
Guess it's pretty easy to strafe a train from behind a desk. Pencil pushers really get on my nerves. <laughs> Pencil pushers really get my goat. Alright, well, thanks for watching. We're going to take a short break here. When we come back, we will do this strafing run on the train, I guess. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. See you later.